Okay, let me show you how to install the MVMS 7000 for your laptop or computer. First thing you want to do is open up a web browser. I'm using Chrome. Type in LTS downloads. Click on LTS downloads. And then you should get this page here. Um, if you couldn't find it, you can type in itsecurityinc.com backslash downloads and get to the same page. But then you want to click on client software. Come down here to where it says MVMS client. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, MV MVMS 7000. And you can pick either Windows or Mac. We're going to do Windows. It's going to start downloading the program. It will be a zip file, so you'll want to make sure that you have a program that can open a uh, zip file. Most most uh, laptops and computers do. Alright, when it's done, click on it. And then when it pops up a window, just go ahead and run the program. It's going to ask you if you want to allow it to make changes. Hit yes. And then you just minimize all this. And then we want to go ahead and install it, so hit next. Uh, we're just going to install the client, so hit next. And then install. Alright, and then it's going to say, do you want to create a desktop shortcut? If you want the shortcut, then you make sure it's clicked. Hit next. And then just hit finish. And then we'll see that the uh, icon is over here on our, on our desktop. So we'll go ahead and click it. We're going to allow it to make changes. Now it might pop up this window about port configuration, but just hit cancel. Now it's going to prompt you to enter a uh, super user name and a password. And this is the login to get into the software on the computer. So create whatever, create whatever uh, username you want and your password. And then hit register. Um, it's going to ask you to configure the web server config configuration, but just hit cancel. And then it should load the program. Okay, uh, we're not going to do the wizard, so we'll just click out of it. And then go ahead and maximize it if you wish. Now the first thing we want to do is hit add. And then it's going to pop up this little window here. Um, we'll go ahead and give a uh, name for the location. I'm just going to do test location. But you could do like uh, home, office, whatever you want to name. Wherever the NVR is, wherever your cameras are. For the address, um, Typically you'd put in like a name dot dot com. So if you have that, just put that there. Whatever the name is dot dot com. If you don't, like I'm using a, uh, I'm going to put an IP address. But if you have the DVR list name, then put that there. Uh, port should stay on 8000. The username for the uh, NVR is admin and then whatever the password is and that should be provided to you by your installer or if you would have if you, you might have changed it whatever you changed it to and when you're done just hit add and if it's good you should see a little globe here that's all green if there's a problem you'll see like a little triangle as well if you were to get that just double click into it Make sure your settings are right. 
hit uh, cancel, and then that should give you the green globe. Um, next, we want to come over here and hit group. And we want to do import. Um, easiest thing would be just to import all, all your cameras, and then hit the uh, X button. Go to control panel and go to main view. And you should see your camera. If you click on one screen, you'll get the first camera. If you have multiple cameras, you can click on four screen, and that should show you up to four cameras. And if you have more than four cameras, click nine or 16, and you see more, even more cameras. But that is how to install the NVMS 7000 on your laptop or computer. And we'll have new uh, videos showcasing how to do more advanced features.